Have you ever wanted to 3D print something but decided not to because maybe it was too hard or maybe because the print was too big or because it would take too long? Well, there's a 3D printing company out there that heard you and they've got a fix. So I just found out about this printer today at work. One of my coworkers asked me if I'd heard anything on it, and I hadn't. And so I'm hoping a lot of you haven't either, so you can give it a chance to take a look at it. But this printer is brand new, and it's so brand new, the Kickstarter for it doesn't even start until today. Um, I'm Mountain Standard Time, and so it starts today at 8 a.m. Uh, according to their Kickstarter, it's UTC minus uh, two here I'll pull this up um, for I believe 2 p.m. and anyway so if you can get on the, get in on that before awesome you'll be able to get the really good discounted price and if not well it's still a pretty good price for people looking into getting this thing but let's talk about this this printer is amazing down to its name the orange storm giga Okay, it's printing area. So how much, it, the, the size that it can print is 800 millimeters by 800 millimeters by 1,000 millimeters. That's like 31 and a half inches by 31 and a half inches by 39 and a half, give or take, inches tall. I mean, that, that you, could, you could basically print, print like a mini fridge at this point. This thing is large. Okay, and even you can buy special five kilogram spools of filament to put on it because they think you're going to need it. And let's be honest, you probably would. But this printer is so cool and it doesn't stop there. You can have four separate print heads going on this printer at once. Now, does that mean you have four things printing one object at the same time? They haven't said anything that makes me think that. It seems more like you can do batch printing. And what I mean by that is you can print four separate objects at the same time. So for those of you who are buying a ton of little printers, this might be a good alternative instead of having a bunch of little ones, having one big one that can print four things at the same time. So kind of cool. Um, there are other add-ons, like I said, of getting bigger, bigger spools of res or bigger spools of filament, as well as you know magnetic plates for the bottom. It, it looks like it sits on four separate heat sources as this thing prints, and so it's amazing. And you know, for the first hundred people that get in on the Kickstarter, it's twelve hundred and fifty bucks, which for a printer of this size is an incredible deal. And then for the next 300 at least that get into the Kickstarter, it bumps it up to 1500. So again, it goes live November 4th at 2 p.m. UTC minus two. Okay, and again, Mountain Standard Time, 8 a.m. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, go ahead, I'll throw a link to their Kickstarter down below. It's Elegoo. They're a reputable company. It's gonna come out. It's gonna be amazing, just like all their other printers are. If you want to get a printer and you want to get a big one, you want to print those giant things, you want to print, you know, a whole chest piece in one piece or an entire house or village or scatter terrain for your war game, this thing can do it and it'll do it in one piece. So if that interests you, look into it because the whoever gets one of these printers is going to be lucky and, you know, there's a lot of different uses for it, so give it a try. Here at Pulsegate Games, we're all about putting stuff on the tabletop, and especially if it can be really, really big stuff. So hopefully you take a look at it. If you like this video, and if it helps you get a printer, like, subscribe. We're going to keep putting out stuff for 3D printing. Again, we try to do everything tabletop related, so... Any questions, any comments, let us know, and hopefully you can get your hands on something nice.